Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Calderon. This is our UAlbany Player Spotlight. Joining us now, senior goaltender from the UAlbany Women's Lacrosse Team, Courtney Henderson. Courtney, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you know, here we have, what, about four or five games left to the season, and you're a senior. It's your last season. I, and I asked Rachel Bowles this. When you got here four years ago, you know, you're 18 years old, and you're thinking, ah, four years, that's going to be so long. Can you believe how quickly time has passed here at UAlbany? It goes by so fast. Um, when you're graduating high school and going into your freshman year, everyone's like, you know, enjoy it, take your time, have fun. And then you get there and you're like, some days are longer than others. But then you wake up almost next year and it's like, oh my God, the whole year went by so fast. And next thing you know, you're a senior and it just flies by. But uh, the time that I've had here has been so enjoyable and I love it. Yeah, and, and when you got here, obviously, you know, the, y your list of priorities, probably two, academics yeah. and U Albany lacrosse. When you got here as a freshman, and again, to bring up Rachel Bowles, uh, you know, she said, I, listen, I was just hoping to play. I wasn't thinking about, you know, I wanted to, obviously that's your goal, but I was just like, I'll do whatever it takes to, to help the team win and succeed and all those things. What were your expectations when you came in? My expectations were just to help the team in any way that I could. Uh, I knew that Anna Berman was ahead of me and she's a great goalkeeper. Um, so just going in there, working every day, do my best for you know the teams that we played that had a lefty goalie. Um, obviously not having a lot of experience under my belt at this upper level. Um, just going to practice, you know, bring great energy, uh, what I could, and just kind of expecting to do what I could for the team to succeed. Yeah, and see so here you now, you're, you know, one of the senior leaders on, on the squad. Um, what's it like to play for Coach Badalina? I've known him for a little while. He's a great guy, but what, what's it like to play for him? He's a good coach. I mean, he um, is able to correct me in anything that I've um, needed to be corrected on, whether it is from, you know, passes to where my angles are or you know different types of situations that um, opponents are going to bring to the next game so um, you know it's definitely a transition we're going from high school you know goalkeeper to a fast-paced D1 level playing Syracuse, UNC, Florida and all these different teams and you know, he's just been there every single game, but you got to get ready for the next game. Yeah. Um, obviously, every team has a different speed, a different type, type of style and stuff like that. So he's helped me really just kind of focus on the next game coming up. So What, what was that? I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, you said, you know, getting used to the speed. I've always been fascinated, you know, when you go from high school to college, what's that transition like? So when you were in, in the pipes for the first time and somebody's, you know, firing shots on you, it was like, wow, it's a the step up from high school just a little yeah, bit I mean, I mean what definitely it's um it's a big step you know I played at a really good high school in Syracuse CBA we always had yeah. good competition and a great coach a great team uh yesterday I played my teammates Taylor Gate you know I've always worked with those type of players but um the speed is definitely a lot different it, the shots are a lot different they're a lot faster uh, as people saw in yesterday's game you know they're creative teams that we play so you just kind of got to be ready for anything. Um, so when I'm in the pipes, I just got to, you know, be ready for any type of shots. And I know um, no matter what kind of speed or, you know, style that any other player has, you just got to be ready. That's the most important thing is just being ready. Sure. No matter if it's from the first second, the last second. Yeah, again, joining us for our UAlbany Player Spotlight is uh, senior goalkeeper for the UAlbany Women's Lacrosse Team, Courtney Henderson. And, and you mentioned it just a second ago. Syracuse, you guys, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a, a game that was televised on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel, seen statewide, uh, and, and I know it's tough because you lost that game, but I'm telling you, for, for those, I was there at ground level watching the game, covering the game, uh, you gave a lot of people something to be proud about. Uh, I know you not into moral victories, especially if you take the lead from your head coach. I know he's not about moral victories, but he did say he was so proud in defeat with the way you guys showed your moxie. Um, does that game show uh, you guys lost 8-7 it was back and forth throughout does that show that you know what you know, we can hang with and and beat anybody in the country of course um i mean yesterday just proves top 14 you're able to almost come off with a good signature win but um that's just confidence for everyone 
from my position up to the starting attack. Um, and it was just, it was a tough loss yesterday. But overall, you know, we took our time, patience, and every single game I think I've seen progression from everyone being able to be like, okay, we got this, we got this win. And even though we didn't get that win yesterday, I believe that it was a good confidence booster for everyone and hoping to get this next win at um, home, last home game. Yeah. And then uh, going to knock off Dartmouth and then play Stony Brook in their last home game. And I think th this game yesterday will definitely be a good confidence booster for us to uh, – hopefully beat Sony Brick at home. Sure, and the mood now, because I know, and again, talking to you, talking to him, um, you know, some people would let a loss like the Syracuse game kind of get him down, but it almost feels like it's it's burning in your gut right now, thinking like, man, you know what, if we could have beat him. Yeah. Is, is that kind of the mindset right now where it's like now motivating you guys to finish the regular season strong going into the American East Tournament? Yes. Um, it, it. I hate losing. That's my. That's my biggest thing and all it could be dodgeball it could be uh anything i hate losing um that's what i told my coaches i just hate losing um and it's tough to come to a team like that knowing that you're you're able to win and pull out the win but you know like coach said he's proud of us and i'm proud of you know everyone that you know did what we could to pull off the win but um came up short that's okay heads off to syracuse they're a really good team but like i said Looking forward to uh, this upcoming next three games and um, hoping to pull off the Ws. Sure. And, and last but not least, this will be the last question, I swear. Uh, as you, you just mentioned, you got three or four games left in the regular season, then the America East Tournament. As a senior, as you get closer to the end of the season, do you get reflective at all? Do you look back and be like, you know, this is, you know, this is the last time I played this team or this is the last time I'm going to be doing it. Does that at all creep into your head? Not so much. Um, I mean, focusing one game at a time um, until the season's over, that's when I will look back. And But for right now, I'm just going to kind of look towards UMass Lowell, Dartmouth, Stony Brook, take care of those games first, and then I will look back. And it's going to be a sad one, yeah. but um, hopefully we'll look forward to the American East Tournament after that. And... Um, Hopefully have that ring on my finger by the time that's done. <laughs> well, listen, we're hoping for the same thing. Courtney, thank you so, thank much. You so much. Courtney Henderson, she is a senior goalkeeper for the U Albany women's lacrosse team. And, of course, I always remind you, you got to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and, of course, tell a friend about UAlbanySports.com. I'm Joe Calderon. That was our player spotlight. We'll see you next time. Take care.